Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Keith. I'm the commanding officer of the 501st Legion Singapore Garrison. And uh, let me tell you a little bit more about the Stormtrooper armor. Uh, let's start at the top. This is the Stormtrooper helmet. It's what the troopers wear over their heads. Um, basically, it's quite airy if you look on the inside. Some troopers like to put speakers inside the sound systems, uh, fans. Uh, some even have walkie-talkie systems inside there. So that's the helmet. This is the chest plate. It covers the chest, obviously, in the back. Shoulder bells. Uh, these are the bicep pieces. Air plates. Um, this, these, are, these are known as the buttons, the, the air buttons. They differentiate the stormtrooper from the sand trooper. Sand troopers don't have this. Uh, these are the wrists, uh, gloves, and hand plates. This is the belt, utility belt. This is the thermal detonator. This is, acts like a grenade to the stormtroopers. Uh, then you've got your thigh armors, and if you notice, the ties for the left and right are different. If you look, if you look at that, and these are the shin pieces. Okay. Then you have your your holster for the E11 blaster, which is standard issue for all stormtroopers. Okay. Now uh, let's. Suit Ron up. Okay, here we have Ron. Ron is wearing a standard issue body glove, which uh, what we wear is a, is a simple lycra dive suit. He's got his neck seal on and he's wearing standard issue Stormtrooper boots. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the armor over what he's already got on. Right, so we always start from the bottom up. So, shins. These work like clamshells, they use Velcro to seal on the back. Like so. Okay, this belt that uh, Ron is putting on is used to hold the tie pieces up so it doesn't drop down. Okay, next is the ab front and back plate.
okay, it provides because of the streets, okay, for uh, MG34. Since this is actually a This is a Yes, so. It fits in the back like that. Helmet. Last set. And that's it. 